channel it's your girl Aisha Yasmin and um, I was known as curly hijabi but I changed it Aisha Yasmin and uh, welcome to my channel if this is your first time to my channel hi hello welcome please be sure to subscribe to my channel like this video if you like these types of videos uh, I know I have a lot of people surprised that I no longer wear hijab but look who's actually wearing makeup today it's a very simple not really simple this is a summertime into fall time makeup look that I decided to do with a couple of new products that I had and I really hope you guys enjoy it and um, yeah stay tuned and keep watching so first we are going to start with moisturizing our skin because this fall time weather has already already screwed up my summertime skincare so I'm just gonna go through and just show you guys what I do to moisturize my skin during this time of the year I'm gonna start off with lip chap because my lips are dry and this is the Kate Voss macaron lip balm so as far as moisturizing my skin I'm going to be starting off with is the measurable difference see that it's almost gone go in with the Frasali rose gold elixir I'm actually going to be prepping my under eyes and I have this Clinique Pep Start eye cream and it's a little sample a lot of samples that I haven't used up yet so I'm gonna try to use them in this video after that I'm going to go in with the Versala Unicorn Essence and I'm really just going to apply that right like I did the other ones onto my face going to go in with the pore professional the pore professional pearl primer I might have actually never used this either it is a sample I just saw it sitting in my makeup case and I thought why why not use it right now I need small pores so I'm just gonna work it into the areas where my pores are really really large which is around this area and then on my nose have large pores and it also smooth so I try to put it underneath my eyes as well and so far it feels really really nice I might actually have to go and buy a huge one so I'm going to do my brown so my brows are done and I actually did something that I never do and that was to line it the outside with concealer I never do that so let's see how this look is going to come out I'm really interested but um, let's keep going I'm actually going to go in with that same Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in 4.5 just going to go in with the concealer brush and put a very small amount Seal my eyes. So let me just get this. It's my Ray palette and use it for the mirror. So I'm actually not going to use this palette today, although I have been using this palette a lot in my makeup that I just wear whenever I wear makeup. Absolutely love this palette. I'm just not going to be using it today. The three things that I'm going to be um, demoing, I guess, for you guys is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage in the color Warm Honey. And I have the NYX Perfect Filter Shadow Palette in the color Rustic Antique. This palette, you guys, it screams fall time to me. Like, those colors 
are so beautiful. This thing that NYX that I'm going to be reviewing is the NYX Professional Makeup Wonder Stick Highlighting Contour Stick in Deep. Okay. I need to set this concealer that I put underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with this color with this with this fat brush yes and I'm just going to set the concealer that I already have underneath my eyes and bring it all the way up to the brow bone and I'm just patting it in my favorite colors to wear for the fall time is of course like rustic bronzy goldish uh, reddish cranberry-ish wine-ish colors although I do not do it that often but I'm going to stick to those kind of colors so I'm going to first go in in this kit my Luxie 249 brush and I'm going to use the fluffy side can't really see I'm going to work it into my crease kind of as like my transition color I'm going to go in with this color the color and put it on my lid oh my look at that And then I'm just gonna blend it up my crease right where I put the other color. This color, and I'm gonna take it and focus it on the outer V area of my eye. Right now, it just looks like somebody punched me in my eye. So, I'm going to go back in with the fluffy brush. And I'm going to go right back into the base color that we started off with. And I'm taking this shade, which is not the lightest shade. It's next to the lightest shade. And it's more of like a champagne color. And I'm going to put that into my under brow area. <laughs> that I've gone into this color. I'm going to go into the darkest color that is on this palette. And that is this beautiful, beautiful dark wine color. Now to add some gold to the look, I have my Mario Badescu uh, facial spray and I'm going to be spraying the same taper. I'm going to go in to this gold that they have on here and I really hope the payoff is worth it. I don't really like the payoff. Maybe my brush is too wet. Nah. Nah. See it. So let me just go in with this champagne color and I'm actually gonna mix it between the two. and try to save this makeup look because that payoff was not where it was at so I'm just going to cover over it and now I definitely have to blend my life away 
That was a disappointment, you guys. At Target, it's retail for $20. And like, if you're paying $20 worth, you should get your money's worth, you know? I just happen to get it half off, so I'm very happy about that. They have some really good matte colors in this, but the glitter colors, unfortunately, and it's ruining my makeup, so. I'm holding it, it's my Ray Ray palette, so let's let it's my Ray Ray palette save the day. I'm going to go in with Fairy Tale, which is this goldish um, rose gold color. And I'm about to focus this on the inner parts of my eye. And then right on top of that, I'm going to apply Allison, which is this one. You know what? I think I'm just going to apply Angel. So I'm going to apply Allison and then Angel. So Allison is going to go right next to or on top. <laughs> on top works. And then we're going to go into Angel. And I'm going to put that at the very, very inner corner. And I'm going to try to blend the glitter into the red so that it's toned down a bit. So, so we're going to take the NYX foundation and I'm going to do a pump on my hand. And gonna see how far it takes us so what I like to do is I like to warm it on my hand first and then I'm going to just dot it along my face and I actually went to Ulta and they actually color matched me but it still seems like it's just a little bit off um, I don't know if it's because I still have my tan from the summertime but we're gonna see I am going for a full coverage look and just going to focus that on the areas I feel like I still need coverage. But I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Concealer in the color C12. I have the regular ones like this, but I was very interested in this because I feel like it will already like set itself or something, even though I'm still going to set it. So let's try this out. And I'm going to bring it all the way up to just get rid of the excess that I have going on. So far it looks really, really, really good. I'm really, really, really satisfied with this. So I'm gonna go in with this contour brush that is by somebody. I'm, I don't remember, I think it's Wet and Wild. Go in with that and just dab it right underneath my eyes. And 
I'm not really brushing it away, but I'm really just pressing it into my skin. Stick, the NYX Wonder Stick in Deep. Now, this is not considered deep to me because that's that's the depth. Like, that's deep to you. Like, no, there are darker skin tones. Buffing brush, my Real Techniques buffing brush. Mega Glow Contour and Palette in the color Caramel Toffee. My under eyes and the highlight. And I'm using a very small amount of the contour just to set the liquid that I did. using the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Tip Eyeliner in the color black. <laughs> and I'm going to apply mascara only to clean up the fact that I have eye shadow on my lashes. So let me do that really quickly before I apply the false lashes. For this look, I really don't think that I'm going to be wearing lipstick because I'm like hella excited to be wearing the Fenty Gloss Balm in the color Fenty Glow. I have been waiting to get this for the longest, the longest, but I just never find time to go and get it. I never go into Sephora. I never go to shop, basically. Um, but my roommate got this for me, my eye. Thank you so much. So I am about to wear this today because why not, hunty? All oh, this left is highlighter. So let me get the It's My Ray Ray palette because she has the best. Taking that same contour brush by Real Techniques. That's what it, who it was about real techniques I didn't turn around and look at the brush um, and I'm actually going to take radiant this one to tie in with the rest of the makeup so 
let's oh, her makeup palette is absolutely life you guys absolutely life and it is just so pretty so glowy so natural so fresh like do y'all see that I have no complaints her pigments in her eyeshadows just like save this look and y'all like this high I, I just I keep putting it on like I keep putting more on like it just it looks so good oh, like this brush by SL Miss Glam in SG62 the same brush I used earlier I'm gonna dip into that radiant again and I'm going to take it along the brow bone OMG ah, that looks beautiful beautiful yeah yeah come on now yeah this is how I know I'm not used to wearing makeup because I, girl, 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 like, like, who is this? Who is this? I don't even know. I don't even know who this is. Looking good. Like, who are you? Who am I right now? Girl, I'm wearing this like I really got somewhere to go, but I don't. <laughs> so I'm about to take it off and go to the gym. OMG, like, swoop, swoop. Like, who, who, who? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the mistakes that I made in this video. I hope that I did not waste your time. And um, if you have any comments, anything that you want me to do next on this channel, feel free to leave a comment on the videos that you would like to see next. And I'll be sure to try, inshallah, to film those videos next. But I hope you guys have a great and blessed day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!